Hello students today we are going to see the short story the little girl written by Catherine Mansfield so Catherine Mansfield was born on 14th October 1888 at New Zealand so she was a very well short story writer as well as a poet so her famous short stories were the garden party miss brill the doll's house so she belongs to the country new zealand this story was about a little girl named kezia who is initially afraid of her father and avoids him every day according to her she feels like relieving that once her father went to office she feels as though she was very comfortable however her feelings towards her father changed at the end of the uh, understanding or end of the story she was happy that she found that the father what she imagined was not really like that the person he became a person according to her to be an adult so uh, this story reveals or revolves around a small little girl okay uh, so we can start our story kezia was a little girl who lived with her parents and grandmother she did not like her father because of overbearing attitude so long father remained at his office uh, she was relieved once he comes home she feels so uncomfortable she never stuttered with other people but failed to speak properly in front of him according to her uh, her father appeared to be a harsh rude and a critical person and especially according to her she considers her father as a giant reason each and every day she could feel that her father was a scary person so her mother used to encourage her to go near to the father in the drawing room when he comes or when he came home from the office and take off his shoes like a good girl so kezia would turn so nervous and there is no other way she will not speak any word though she was unable to disobey her mom what she does she goes near uh, to him takes off the shoes at that time her father used to ask her whether she was very good girl whether he, she was very good girl on that particular day and she would try to give the answer but she will not be giving it properly as she would start stammering due to the scariness so kezia's grandmother wanted her to understand her parents better and would ask her to go to the drawing room to chat with them so whenever she, the girl goes there she used to find that the mother used to sit and read and the father used to stretch out in the sofa so uh, she was unable to speak to them and uh, she scares and she comes back so often as it happens one fine day her grandfather uh, sorry grandmother told kezia that uh, her as her as her father's birthday was uh, near by next week she suggested her to do some pin cushion as a gift so the girl was also wondered she also accepted this idea so what the girl did was she stitched three sides of a pin cushion so only one more is left out one side is left out right so what she did was she just wanted to stuff something inside it so she went here and there at the whole house and she was unable to find anything finally she entered inside her mother's bedroom and there she found lots of sheets of fine paper lying on the bed table she gathered them up and she tore all those papers into tiny pieces and stuffed inside that pin cushion and she sewed up the fourth side actually this girl unknowingly she did a very grave mistake the reason was it was uh, important papers as they contained her father's speech for the port authority so without the knowledge the girl tore all those papers into pieces and she stuffed inside the pin cushion for the gift so there was a hue and a cry in the house that particular night because the father came there and uh, you know haribari he was searching uh, where the papers were 
okay and finally he could find the pieces of paper and when he threatened kezia and asked what happened kezia accepted her mistake and she tried to explain the reason behind it but her father was too angry he was not ready to listen for anything okay he just took a ruler and bit her in her hands so imagine the child situation now how she would have been reacted or what mentality the child uh, might have had okay so actually out of um, affection and love the child tried to impress her father but really it became a vain so now simultaneously what happens she could see a family nearby family uh, that is mr macdonald he is a little different from her father a different sort of father he was actually living in the next door and uh, he had five children so he used to sit laugh and enjoy with the children in the garden and uh, by seeing this picture the girl used to convince herself that her father was not like this the girl was actually longing for such kind of father but she was unable to get it so uh, according to her mindset her father was not like that so kezia realized that according to her some fathers are like mr macdonald some fathers are so cruel like her own father she started to compare and she started to uh, long for the affection as well as the love so one find out what happened was kezia's mother fell ill and her mother as well as the grandmother went to the hospital so uh, the little girl was left alone with alice the cook so kezia was all right during the daytime as she was very small no so she was so scared of nightmares so um, and she, she knew very well it suppose if she is getting a very like a bad night uh, mares her grandmother used to comfort her by sitting near to her okay so uh, she was feeling very bad what she could do as her grandmother was not with her and because the grandmother as well as the mother went to the hospital at the particular day night and uh, the cook was with her with her and uh, then the cook took her alice took her to the bed so usually whenever kezia had a nightmare i told as i told the grandmother used to comfort her so at that particular uh, night alice was near to her to console her and she put her in the bed while sleeping kezia had a very horrible dream where she was unable to um, bear and she just got up from the sleep and she started screaming so once she started screaming she just opened her eyes and when she opened her eyes she was shocked and surprised that her father was near her bed and kezia and what he did was he took kezia in his arm and just warmed her and took her to his bed so when the girl found that the father's um, affection or the hug she could feel safe as well as comfortable with her at that moment kezia realized that the father was not no more a cruel man or a cruel person and she really felt very sorry that she compared her father to be a giant and she now realized that the that how much the father loved her and but in his own way you know very well each and every person will be having their own way of showing their affection and now as a little girl she understood how much her father loves uh, her and now she was so proud that her father was no more a giant but a big hearted man so the message what was conveyed here by the writer is she wishes to tell that the children share a very deep bond of love with their parents and they expect a lot but the young children they don't feel that their parents love and care when they are strict if our parents are strict we never realize we may think why these parents are so strict to us okay but really it is for our goodness once we grow up we could understand or when the situation comes we could understand okay their actions are really not an unfair it is a right path to lead a right path they did it 
So, but as our children grow up, they could realize the act of their parents are were really favorable for them. In addition, all along, the parents were afraid for them. Below their strictness, or for, uh, behind each and every strictness, you could understand that there will be or there used to be a heart full of love for their children. So, as children, you only should have to understand the parent's affection. Though they are strict, you have to understand like uh, what is the reason behind the strictness. What mistakes, uh, mistake you had done and for what reason they are so strict. It is all, each and every time, it is only for our goodness they used to be like that. So, this is a message conveyed by the writer in this story. So, any questions students? So, if you have any questions or queries, you can go through the presentation again. Thank you.